After years away from the NASCAR Cup Series, the Dinger is taking another stab at it. As in 2023, it's been reported by Jordan Bianchi that, well, AJ Allmendinger will drive full-time for the number 16 Chevrolet for Colleague Racing. Now, there's a lot to look into with this, and I think a lot of it has to do with AJ as a driver, as well as the team, and just where it all stacks up with where NASCAR is right now. So, one thing that I think a lot of people are going to have to look at is the fact that AJ Allmendinger will be 41 years old next year, which means as a driver, statistically, he's still around the peak of a NASCAR career. 41 is definitely on the later end of that. I'm not going to say that by any means he's going to be a championship contender. What I'm saying is that we're probably going to see the best version of AJ Allmendinger possible next season when he's driving back in Cup. And when you look at the combination of Colleague Racing and AJ Allmendinger, it's been a great one. It's been a very good one personally for everybody involved, and AJ looks very happy with the team overall. But when you look on the track as well, you see that statistically, this is the best pairing that AJ has ever had. Since going into the Xfinity Series in the last three to four years, they have had 12 wins together in 77 races. Suffice to say that that is one of the best, if not the best, combos overall in that time span. And you're looking at a driver right now who can really compete with the best of them. Because in a lot of those wins, he wasn't just going against teenagers or against washed up drivers. He was going against cup level competition and beating them. He... For instance, at Portland this past year, went a lap down early in the rain, avoided the carnage, went all the way up through the pack, and still managed to get the victory when everyone had written him off. So, AJ has tons of talent, that is obviously known, and he has a great combination. And it's easy to see that this is the happiest that AJ Allmendinger has ever been in NASCAR. When you looked at Allmendinger's career before he went to Colleague, you saw, in a lot of ways, a very frustrated driver. At Team Red Bull, he just was not up to snuff at that point. The lack of experience, plus a team that didn't have experience or speed as well, was a pretty bad start. When he went to Richard Petty Motorsports, he had flashes, but it seemed like he was just very frustrated with how mediocre the team had been overall. When he went to JTG, again, great moments, but then you saw that the mediocrity of the team, the fact that the 47 team has never been a team that's been really top 10 worthy, it really got to him. So when you see him at Colleague winning all the time and doing so well, well, you see why the confidence right now is so high and why that plays in so well with next season. And you also have to look at how he's done in Cup so far this year in his brief bit of time in the number 16. As of recording this video, he has run 13 Cup races this season. And he doesn't have a win or a pole, but he was damn close to getting a win at Coda and was in the middle of that battle with Alex Bowman and Ross Chastain for the victory in that race. So he very well may have another win this year after having a win last year at the Indianapolis Road Course. So AJ is somebody you might have to look out for when it comes to the playoffs for that reason, but look at what he's done outside of just that Coda race. For instance, he has one top five this year which is a second at Watkins Glen. We know he's going to be a threat at the road courses, no matter which one it is, so that shouldn't be surprising. Then, you look at the four other top tens he's had this year. Yes, there was a seventh at the Indy Road Course and a ninth at Road America. Again, road courses. But there's two very interesting top tens that he had as well. For instance, at Gateway, he managed to get a tenth place finish and... Really, he looked pretty strong doing it. He was in the top 15 for most of the day and capitalized on many late race restart mistakes. That was huge in him getting that, and it shows that he, as a savvy old veteran, can still capitalize off the mistakes of younger drivers. And then you have the seventh at the Bristol night race. He survived that night, took care of his tires, and because of it, was rewarded with his best non-road course finish of the season. That should not be overlooked. 
yeah, he only has five laps left, and that's something that needs to be fixed if he's going to have any shot, really, of running much higher than 15th to 20th. But in this era, 15th to 20th does mean that you're in prime position at some time or another to get a win and get in the playoffs, which is why I think that he will be a playoff threat next year. Obviously, the threat the road courses, but AJ and colleague have put together a pretty good resume on the super speedways. And this past weekend, he just got a victory in the super speedway race at Talladega. And I don't think that he's going to be a really bad driver overall to look at as maybe a dark horse pick in those races. And when you look at what he's done bad this year, it hasn't really been his fault. For instance, he has one DNF so far this season in the Cup Series, and that was a brake failure at Dover. Overall, AJ Allmendinger, as an older driver, takes care of his equipment. If it's a wrecked race car and it's AJ Allmendinger driving it, you can probably bet that it's somebody else that caused that accident. We've seen it in Xfinity. He's gotten much better at that through the years. We've seen it in Cup. I mean, hell, in his early years, he was called Wallmendinger. He crashed so much. But now he's somebody who keeps care of equipment, runs up front, doesn't lead many laps. That'll have to change. And overall, with the average finish of a 17th in Cup right now, is really exceeding where the equipment has really put him at. And the way I see it is that with him running well at Gateway in Bristol and running well later into the season compared to the way he did earlier this year, Colleague and Almondinger can only improve and probably will have a solid season. I mean, I would say so far that him and Justin Haley have had a solid season, and those two as teammates have great chemistry together. So they're going to be ones to look out for as dark horses as well. Now, the team as well this year, as a 16, I should say, has run very well with Daniel Hemrick and Noah Gregson at times. The big one that I think of is the fact that Noah Gregson at Michigan, a very driver-heavy track under this car package, has actually ran up into the top five and was racing top-level cup competition. And I don't know how you would compare Gregson with Almendinger, but both of which are the probably longest tenured veterans of the last couple years to jump into the Xfinity series that have shown really good competition overall when they come up to cup. And I think that overall, this will bring a lot of confidence to Almendinger's situation. If you had to ask me to kind of pick for next year, I would probably bet on him making the playoffs and as long as he can stay out of trouble, looking at the way that he was this year, in a third of the races so far started, he's gotten five top 10. So I wouldn't be surprised if he had 12 to 15 top 10s next year and was just a solidly consistent driver, similar to like Michael McDowell so far this season. I think that this is the greatest shot for Almendinger to put together a top 10 running campaign and be known as somebody who runs up front week in and week out. And I think that he really is a playoff threat. But with that, I'm going to pass it on to you. What do you think of the rumors and pretty much confirmation that AJ Allmendinger will be going back up full-time to the NASCAR Cup Series and the number 16 colleague Chevrolet in 2023? Let me know down in the comments below. While you're at it, leave a like on this video, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more great NASCAR content. And thank you so much to my channel members for your continuous support. So until next time, have a good one.